very good evening ladies and gentlemen and a very warm welcome to all of you to the Green Acres Construction Times Builders Awards 2016. An evening where all the successful and the winning companies will be honoured with the best performances awards. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on that note firstly uh, I'm going to request our dignitaries to please kindly step forward for the lighting of the lamp. On that note, it's time to give a head start to the evening and I'd like to invite on stage our Editor-in-Chief, Construction Times, Mr. Ramamurthy Mayavan, to please come on stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of ARC Events and Media Private Limited, I heartily welcome you all to the forum to the second edition of Green Acres Construction Time Builders Award 2016. Seriously, this is Im immensely exciting evening for our company and we are deeply honored by your presence. We have introduced a couple of categories this year. The awards recognizes an excellence in the industry in large, small and small categories. Construction Time Builders Awards is a fantastic opportunity to bring the leaders in this forum. I once again welcome you all to the second edition of Construction Time Builders Award. We respect the vision of the real estate industry to improve the quality life of the people. As you all say, buy your dream home, stay good, feel better, breathe better and live long healthier. And thank you all for making India look beautiful. Thanks once again. Thank you very much, Mr. Ram Murthy. I'd now like to invite on stage Professor Sri Hari, the advisor to Government of Karnataka for Traffic, Transport and Infrastructure to share a brief on the award selection process and the judging criteria. A warm welcome to all. See, this particularly the judging or putting a ranking, but it's very difficult to judge everyone because everyone is equally good. The various parameters included their, the, the services, what they are giving, and also their credentials, their way of handling the various projects in time, and also their financial status from past three years. All these things also played a very well, a big thing into see that some of the things, awards have been made here now, and uh, I had a very highly qualified and highly intellectuals for this kind of judging the great people. So I'm also very happy to be a part of this organization to judge them, review them, and also finally coming out with a few selected uh, people for this award function. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, and now invite on stage uh, Mr. H. S. Mohan, the Chief Executive Officer for Infrastructure Equipment Skill Council. As you are aware today, there is no uniform gazetted policy on training and certifying personnel for operating construction equipment. So far we have developed about uh, 35 job roles for operators and mechanics. This covers construction, roads, mining, defense, iron and steel. In other words, the standards have been developed by the industry for the industry. I really thank uh, Mr. Ramurthy and team for giving us an opportunity to showcase the, our activities. Thank you so very much. Thanks a lot. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, as we march ahead with our next segment for the evening, it is also that time of the evening where we honor and thank our jury members for their valuable time and for selecting our winners this evening. So it's that time of the evening where we are all set to uh, gear up for the most awaited moment of the evening indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, to do the honours, once again I'd like to invite uh, Sri Niranjan Hiranandani and Mr. Ram Moti as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first category for the evening is Best Upcoming Second Home Project of the Year. In this category, we have got three winners. So the first winner of the evening is Ipset Landmark by Ipset Projects. <laughs> Our uh, next winner in the best second home project of the year, Montag Infrastructure Private Limited. Uh. Yeah. 
And our final winner in this category, ladies and gentlemen, the project is Amaraja Hills by Nanak Properties Private Limited. We now move on to our next category of the award. This is the best upcoming residential project of the year. So our first winner in this category, ladies and gentlemen, Guru Kripa Group for its project, Marina Enclave. Our next winner in this category, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a huge round of applause for Oyster Living for its project, Celestial Living. in this category, ladies and gentlemen, DGS Township Private Limited for its project, Sheetal Tapovan. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, our next category is Best Upcoming Affordable Housing Project of the Year. So our first winner in this category is Veena Developers for its project, Veena Dynasty in Vasai. Next winner in this category is Own Palace Project of the Makwana Group. It's time to announce our next winner in this category, ladies and gentlemen, SRK Real Heights Private Limited for its project Namo Shivastu City. Ladies and gentlemen, our winner in this category is DG Land Developers Private Limited for its project, Sheetal Deep. <laughs> our next category, Best Redevelopment Project of the Year. The first winner in this category is LNT Realty for the project, Pragati Towers Parel. Next winner as well in this category, Modi Spaces Real Estate Private Limited for its project Modi Space Pearly Shell in Kandavali. The next winner in this category as well, ladies and gentlemen, DG Builders Sheetal Villa. So let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for our final winner in this category, the Manthan Embassy. The next category, ladies and gentlemen, Best Organic Agro Farm Project of the Year. The winner is Ruya Agro Farm. Let's move on to the next category for the evening, which is Best Commercial Project of the Year. First winner in this category is Godrej Properties Limited for the project Godrej One. The next category, ladies and gentlemen, the Best Luxury Project of the Year. First winner is Limited edition LE88 by Satra Group. Our next winner in this category is the project Excalibur by Nahar Group. Ladies and gentlemen, our next category is Best Residential Project of the Year. And our first winner, Akar Excelsior 
by the Akar Creations Private Limited. Our next winner, Cosmos Paradise by Cosmos Glue. Well, our next winner in this category, Ibis by Bow Developers Private Limited in Kandavali. Final winner in this category is Sheetal Developers for its project Sheetal Tulsi. Let's get started with our next category of award, Best Affordable Housing Project of the Year. So our first winner in this category is Dharti Nirman Builders and Developers and the project being Dharti Project Presidio. Our next winner in this category, SG Group near Shelu Railway Station. And our next winner in this category, Flintstone Group's Flint Heights. Our next winner in this category as well, Mirador Dwellers Private Limited for their project Mirador Utsal. <laughs> that brings us to the next category for the evening, Best Township Project of the Year. First winner in this category, Sai World City by Paradise Group. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a huge round of applause to welcome our guest of honor, Sri Eknath Shinde, Honorable PWD Minister, Government of Maharashtra. <laughs> our uh, next winner in this category is Ekta Parksville Homes Private Limited for the project that's developed by Ekta World. Next category is Best Smart Cities Project of the Year. The first winner in this category is Paradise Group Builders and Developers for Sai World City. <laughs> Our next winner is DK Realty for the project Live Smart. category is best smart project of the year. Our winner in this category, ladies and gentlemen, Nandgarh that's been bestowed with the best smart project of the year developed by MAAD, the Mar Construction Private Limited. <laughs> On that note, we're going to once again be announcing our winner for the best commercial project of the year. As we had earlier announced, the winner is Devaji VIP Plaza Project by Skyrise Builders. <laughs> Our next category is CSR Activity of the Year. The winner is Omkar Foundation. next category is Best Developer of the Year. The first winner in this category is Shoba Limited by the Shoba Group. <laughs> Our next winner of the category is Rustam G. Keystone Realtors Private Limited. Final winner in this category, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's again hear it for Akar Creations Private Limited. Yeah. 
Well, that brings us back to uh, the category of Best Township Project of the Year. And uh, once again, we'd like to announce our winner being Nisarg Green Project by the Nisarg Nirman Developers. The so next category is Young Entrepreneur of the Year. First winner in this category is Nikunj Sangwe. It's time to also move on to one of my favorite categories, which is Construction Woman of the Year. First winner is Dr. Sumitra Ayangar. The Director of Business Development for Narayan Enterprises and Managing Director of Karanji Valley Heights Integrated Tourism Township Limited. Let's keep that applause going, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Our next winner in this category, the Director of Oyster Living, Chetna Shinde. We have the third winner as well, Vrutika Satra, Senior Vice President, Sales and Marketing, Satra Group. Yeah. On that note, it's time to uh, march ahead with another very exciting category for the evening. This is all about the leader who is uh, leading from the front, in fact. Uh, this is the best CEO of the year. Our winner is Sri N. R. Aluri, the Managing Director of NCC Urban Infrastructure Limited, Nagarjuna Construction Company International LLC, Muscat, and Nagarjuna Contracting Company LLC. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us Mr. Srinivas Rao to receive the award on behalf of uh, Sri N. R. Aluri. Yeah. Our next winner of this category is the Chairman and Managing Director of the Rustamji Group, Mr. Baman R. Irani. Of course, we have Mr. Percy Chaudhary to receive the award on his behalf. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our final winner in this category, the chairman of Soba Limited, uh, Sri Ravi Menon. However, we have Mr. Atul Agarkar, the CFO, to receive uh, the award on behalf the next special award of the evening, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Anup Kumar Mittal, the Chairman and Managing Director of NBCC. However, we have with us Mr. Alok Ranjan, the Chief General Manager, to receive the award on behalf of Dr. Anup Kumar. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, time to announce uh, the outstanding contribution to real estate sector. And the award goes to Sri Niranjan Hiranandani, the managing director and founder of the Hiranandani Group of Companies, a standing ovation once again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. It is the leaders of this kind of Mr. Shinde which makes this paradigm happen and I wish him success in all the endeavors that he does because that is what we needed in the terms of what Maharashtra needs, Mumbai needs and the paradigm that will make Mumbai, Maharashtra great. It is the change which will bring about employment generation. People will be able to understand that the growth of the environmental cities is what the Prime Minister has said about smart cities. So congratulations to Construction Times, to all the award winners and all the very best to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you once again, sir. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, after those beautiful words that you have shared, it truly resonates the fact that you have been inspiring a lot of people right over here, even the youngsters, which is why I'm going to be heading back to the category of Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'd like to announce that the Young Entrepreneur of the Year award goes to uh, Mr. Sonesh Lakshmichan Dedia, the Managing Director of Dedia Group. Yeah. 
While we do come to the end of the uh, award categories, I'd like to once again request uh, Mr. Ram Muthi Mayavan to please present uh, the memento as a token of gratitude to uh, Sri Eknath Shinde. Can we have a huge round of applause one more time? And sir, if I may humbly request you to please uh, share your words with the August gathering as well. Namaskar. Ani Jai Maharashtra. Sabhi logo ko mai dhanyavad dena chahata hu. Aur ek stage par pure desh vasiyo ko lane ka kaam कंस्ट्रक्शन टाइम्स ने किया है इसलिए मैं आपको भी धन्यवाद दूंगा यह जो आपका जो फील्ड है देश के प्रगति के लिए बहुत बड़ा मुआयना रखता है कितनी इंडस्ट्री डिपेंड करती है कई लोगों को रोजगार मिलता है आपको इस महाराष्ट्र में एक मंत्री के हैसियत से मैं कहूंगा आपका हमेशा इस मुंबई में स्वागत रहेगा महाराष्ट्र में स्वागत रहेगा आज हम लोग थाना से मुंबई बोरीवली जाना है तो एक से डेढ़ घंटा कम से कम लगेगा लेकिन हम जिस पर काम कर रहे हैं बोरीवली ठाणे टनल के ऊपर तो 10 मिनट के अंदर ठाणे से बोरीवली आदमी जाएगा थाना और मुंबई को जोड़ने वाला बहुत बड़ा काम इस टनल के माध्यम से होगा ये आवश्यक है ये राज्य के लिए ये प्रगति के लिए कि पूरे महाराष्ट्र में ये रोड का जो ग्रीड है वो हम बनाना चाहते हैं कई पर सौ दो किलोमीटर दूरी से जाना पड़ता है वहाँ हम लोग खोज रहे कि ऐसे जैसे टनल बनावे एलिवेटेड रोड बनावे ताकि जो सफ़र है वो कम हो जाए जिनको आज यहाँ पर सम्मानित किया है आप सभी लोगों को मैं शुभकामनाएं देता हूँ हम लोग साथ साथ आगे बढ़ेंगे इस राज्य को प्रगति की ओर ले जाएंगे जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, it's time to congratulate all our winners as well as thank our dignitaries and our visionaries. We do come to the end of this fantastic evening, but it's not over until it's over. We're going to be requesting our winners to please come on stage for a group photograph as well.